Where have Virbar and Iblis's forces invaded? Only a few sites in Line 1, Goddess. A host of Seraphim are counter-attacking. Good. What about Earth? Goddess, please don't worry about Earth. Protecting you and Line 1 is all that matters. Earth matters, Regadim. Everything I create, Virbar destroys. Over and over and over. For eternity. With Earth. I wanted to create something that the Lord of Chaos could not touch. Earth is my heart and my soul. This time, I will not allow Virbar to ruin it. The little planet can be recreated. If something happens to you, it's all over. For everything. There is another option. If I channel my power into Line One's five precious orbs, they will explode with divine light. Iblis will be obliterated. My lady, you cannot. We know not what would happen to you. I may not be able to stop Virbar, but I can destroy Iblis. His loss will weaken Virbar. Goddess, please! Earth suffers. The Seraphim must return. It's a matter of priorities, Yeladim. We must protect the Goddess as she lies incapacitated. It's our first, our only duty. Is it not for Earth that she is there? To protect it? I know of her love for this planet. I cannot abandon it. Keeping the Goddess safe is our highest priority. Creation only exists if she does. We will still guard her, of course, but surely a few Seraphim can be spared to watch over Earth? Without us, Intera might survive, but Elpharon is doomed. If Elpharon is destroyed, so be it. I will hear no more. The matter is decided.
Torben, where is it? Where's what, my dear? I don't know what you mean. Oh, no. You're not going to sweet-talk your way out of this. You said you'd bring it right back, but it's been almost a week. I don't remember any grail. Are you sure you gave it to me? The grail, Torben. The holy grail of fertility. If my husband finds out it's missing, there'll be hell to pay. You're so cute when you're scared. But seriously, don't worry. Every thief, bandit, and con man in the kingdom wanted to steal the holy grail of fertility. Your husband will never suspect you. Didn't he lie to the palace when they asked for it back? He said it was lost long ago, but he just wanted to hold on to it. Even if he finds out it's missing, he can't tell anybody about it. Torben, I am the only person he told where the grail was hidden. Once he finds out it's missing, he'll know I had something to do with it. Okay, okay. Calm down. I'll bring it back tomorrow. You know I would never do anything to hurt you. I don't believe you. I need the grail back now. Melita, what's all this about the Holy Grail? Does this man have the Grail? How did he know where to find it? Darling, it's all a misunderstanding. This man is a scholar of religious relics. I gave him a quick look at the Holy Grail, but you know what scholars are like. How stupid do you think I am? A scholar? This scruffy-looking thug is no more a scholar than I am. Who's scruffy-looking? You, sir! You threatened my wife so she'd show you where the Grail was hidden. Then you stole it. Threaten? Not exactly the word I'd use. Let's just say I convinced her. I can be very persuasive. Look, Grandpa! You had to know this sort of thing would happen when you married a beautiful woman young enough to be your daughter. She just needed more than you could give. Which is where I come in. How dare you! Well, no use getting angry now. Tell you what, I'm gonna go. Let you two have some privacy so you can start repairing your marriage. All the best. <laughs>